Welcome to your movement practice. Um, excuse my looks, I just woke up, but this is a great time to do just a quick 30 minute detox. Um, and again, I invite you to read the description about the method that I've chosen to do this, but we'll try to make it nice and quick in 30 minutes. We'll begin on our backs in Shavasana. Allowing the limbs to be heavy and the chest to be light. Calming the mind and slowly beginning to arrive in your physical body. Connecting with your breath. Noticing where you're holding on to tension. Allowing the mind to become calm and make space for the mind-body connection that you'll need throughout this practice. Slowly fluttering the eyes open, wiggling the fingers and toes and bringing the soles of the feet to the ground. Hands to the navel, drawing the navel towards the spine and feeling your core activate, kind of sucking your belly in and keeping this hold on the, abdo um, on the abdominal wall as you start to inhale and exhale. When you inhale, you'll find that you're restricted to breathing into the lungs and not like the belly. And when you breathe out, you'll notice the cinching of the waist at the very bottom of your exhale. Continue breathing in and out like this and really focusing on activating that core and drawing navel to spine. Now reach the fingertips forward, inhale, and as you exhale, lift the head and chest just an inch off the ground. And notice if your abdomen is tenting up, you'll want to draw the navel towards the spine and try to keep this flat. Reach the fingertips forward. Keeping the neck long and not crunching the head. Last inhale, last exhale. Inhale, hands interlace behind the head. And find the work here now. On your next inhale, um, come up onto the heels and drag the heels forward, straightening the legs. Make sure that the belly doesn't tent. And when you exhale, draw the heels back towards the glutes. Inhale to extend, exhale to drag back. Being mindful of the position of the belly and the abdominal wall again, just drawing navel to spine, super important, not letting the abdomen tent up. Inhale, extends the legs, 
Exhale, draws the heels towards the bum. Not craning the neck. Three more. Two. Last one. Leave the legs long. Inhale and exhale, twist over to the right hand side using the power of the ribs, not the arms yanking on the neck. Center, inhale, exhale to the left. Really allowing these movements to come from the core, challenging the range of motion in the obliques. Inhale brings you to center, exhale twists you. Keep going. Feel the fire burning in your abdomen. Maybe you feel shaky. Drawing navel, navel to spine always, not letting the belly tent. One more each side. And then hold in the middle. Head and chest are still lifted. Now reaching the fingertips towards the ankles, drawing the shoulders away from the ears. Inhale, exhale, release. Draw the knees in towards the abdomen and try to feel that compression in the hip, allowing the tailbone to lift a little bit off the ground and drawing the left knee to the left armpit and the right knee to the right armpit and really trying to like get it down there. Feeling everything compressed. Now gather the legs and rock up and down the spine a few times until you gain enough momentum to come over the legs and find your way into tabletop position. When you're in tabletop, just rocking back and forth, toes tucked under, opening up the soles of the feet and the wrists. Challenging the range of motion in your wrists when you go forward and opening up the soles of the feet when you go back. Finding your way to stillness in the center. Finding cat and cow. So first dropping the belly, lifting the tailbone, rolling up the spine, pulling chest through the arms, chin flicks up. And then rolling tailbone under, pulling navel to spine, pushing the shoulder blades apart, tucking the chin. Two. Tailbone lifts, belly drops, chest pulls through the arms, chin lifts. And then finding your way into cat pose and rolling between these two positions. One more time. Really trying to segment through the spine. Last time in cat pose. Finding a neutral table and then walking the hands about a foot forward maybe less and then rounding into your cat back until your body shifts over the wrist as far as it can go and then you begin to drop the hips opening the chest pulling the heart through finding your cobra and then tucking the chin pushing the ground apart sending the hips back towards the heels finding your child's pose pulling the hands back towards you, lifting the hips, rounding through the upper back until you're as far over the wrist as you can go, and then dropping the pelvis, pulling the chest through, chin flicks up. Exhale, tuck the chin, push the shoulder blades apart, send the hips back, child's pose. Three more, following your own breath. Still keeping an awareness of the spine, 
trying your best to segment your way through the vertebrae as you move through the two different poses. Core is engaged. Last time. Then we all find our way back to a neutral table. Tucking the toes under again, if that feels comfortable, but you don't have to. Inhale, lift the right leg straight back behind you. Kind of like a three-legged dog. Now we open the hip and bend the knee. Definitely like a three-legged dog, but in table. Squeezing heel towards the bum, reaching the knee towards the ceiling. Inhale, exhale, bring the right knee forward and across, trying to tap left elbow. Inhale, open up, three-legged table. Exhale, knee to elbow. Inhale, three-legged table. Really challenging the range of the knee again here, trying to drive that knee as far over to the left as you can. Open, three-legged dog. I mean, table. Exhale, knee to elbow, and switch. Left foot reaches long back behind you. Then we open the hip, bend the knee. Find the posture. Inhale. Exhale, knee to elbow, cross over. Inhale to open. Exhale, knee to elbow. Inhale to open. Exhale, knee to elbow. Last time, open. Exhale, knee to elbow. Neutral table. Walk back so you're sitting on your toes in toe stand, flipping the pinky toes under. And then just grabbing on to the wrist in whatever way feels best. My favorite way is to grab like in between those two bones where the thumb and the wrist meet and squeezing it with my left hand, wrapping my thumb over with my other fingers and making nice big intentional circles. One way. And then the other way. Switching hands, grabbing in between those two bones in the left hand, squeezing with the right hand, fingers over thumb, slow intentional circles. Maybe your toes are screaming too. That's great, let them stretch out. And then the other way. Finding a way into down dog, tapping out the toes first, and then sending the hips back and high. Feet are greater than hip width apart. Pedaling out the feet. Just gonna do a few cycles of sun A. Come up high onto the toes. Inhale, think light, look between the hands and step, hop, or jump to a forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Deep bend in the knee, inhale, roll up the spine, root to rise, arms overhead. Exhale, lower the arms. Inhale, arms lift. Exhale, fold over the thighs. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant the hands, step, hop, or jump into your chaturanga. Inhale, pull the heart through the arms, coming up off the thighs and on the tops of the feet. Exhale, tuck the chin, send the hips back and high, downward facing dog, three breaths. Deep bend in the knees, look forward, think light. Inhale, step hop or jump to the top of the mat. Forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Deep bend in the knee, inhale, root to rise, arms reach overhead. Exhale, lower the hands. Inhale, arms reach. 
Exhale, swan dive over the thighs. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant the hands, step, hop, or jump into your chaturanga. Inhale, pull the heart through, upward facing dog. Exhale, tuck the chin, roll back, send hips back and high, downward facing dog. Three breaths. Sorry, I hope that wasn't too loud. I had to adjust the mic. Inhale, think light, bend the knees, look forward between the hands, forward fold, top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Deep bend in the knee, root to rise, roll up the spine, arms lift overhead. Exhale, lower the hands. Inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, plant the hands, step, hop, or jump back. Inhale, pull the heart through the arms. Upward facing dog, glutes are loose, core is engaged. Exhale, tuck the chin, downward facing dog. Three breaths. Bend the knees, high on the toes, look forward, think light, inhale, top of mat. Forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Deep bend, the knee, deep bend in the knee, slow roll up the spine, arms reach overhead. Exhale, lower the arms. Inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing. Three breaths. Inhale, right foot reaches back and high. Hips are level. Feel first the length between your big toe and your fingertips. And when you find that length, now you open the hip and bend the knee. Pressing into the outer edge of the left foot. Tent up on the right fingertips and send the right knee a little higher and the right toes back a little bit more. Peek under the right armpit if you can. Finding the twist here. Sending the right foot over to the left hand side a little bit more. And then planting both hands, looking forward and drawing the knee to the nose, finding that compression. Look between the hands, step the foot between the hands, and rise up, high lunge. Here's our super fun flow. We'll go slow through the first one, and then make it a little bit more flowy as we go on. Arms come out to a T. Now flex the palms as if you're pushing two walls away. And now turn the body, twist the body over to the right hand side. Don't let the arms get involved. Allow the twist to come from the core. Try to drag the left ribs over and across to touch the right hip crease. But the legs are still hugging towards midline. Finding this posture, seeing how it feels. And now we lean back. Right fingertips graze the left thigh. Not so much trying to find a back bend, but like a diagonal twist. And now we spiral open to warrior two. Feeling comfortable and strong here. Just an alignment cue, the front heel is in line with the back arch and you're pressing into all three corners, but paying special attention to the outside edge of both feet. 
Now we lean the body back, reaching the arm up overhead, feeling the crunch in the side body on the left hand side and the lengthening on the right hand side. Now we keep this. Left fingertips move across the body, trying to graze the right thigh. Now we pivot so all 10 toes are facing the long edge of the mat and we sink down, coming into our goddess squat, but keeping the twist with the arms, leaning to the left. Now we float back to a centered position, goddess squat, and then we switch. Left arm comes over the left ear, but the right fingertips are reaching towards the back foot. And now we pivot on the feet facing forward. Whoa, catching our balance, high lunge. Arms reach overhead first. Now they come out to a T, palms flexed. Now we twist to the right hand side, feeling the work in the obliques. Now we lean back and diagonal. And we cartwheel the arms, opening the body, warrior two. Reverse warrior, right hand reaches back behind you, still deeply bending into the front knee. Left fingertips reach across body, trying to touch the right thigh. Now pivot so all ten toes face the long edge of the mat. Deep bend into the knee, goddess squat, plus reaching of the arms. Inhale to center, exhale to switch to left arm over the ear, right fingertips reaching to the back of the mat. Now we spiral forward, pivoting on the feet, high lunge. Last time, arms come to a T. Crunching the body, twisting, really trying to work the left rib across. Now we reach back and diagonal. Really reaching the left arm over the ear. Spiraling open, warrior two. Reverse your warrior. Left fingertips reach across, grazing the right thigh. All ten toes. Face the long edge of the mat, sinking down into goddess squat. Finding center, and then reaching to the other side. Pivoting on all ten toes, high lunge. Now we hook the left elbow to the outside of the right knee. Hands come to prayer, driving the thumb in towards the chest. Toning the core. Look down to the big toe and drag the back toes forward, finding your chair twist. Your inhale finds length between the crown of your head and your tailbone. And your exhale deepens the twist. Stay here if you want, but if you want more, um, we're going to come into side crow. So for side crow, hands come apart, lean over to the right hand side, enough so that your palms can come to touch on the ground. Continuing to lean forward, keeping elbow pressed to the outside of the right knee, and then we slowly lean enough that we pick up the toes. Look forward, pressing firmly into the hands. And just as slowly as you got into that pose, slowly come out of it. Back, everyone meets in twisted chair. Inhale to stand, straightening the legs. Exhale, lower the arms. Inhale, arms lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, step, hop, or jump back to your chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing. 
Left toes reach back behind you. Find length first between your big toe and your fingertips. And now open the hip and bend the knee. Send the knee up high and the toes reaching over to the right hand side. Making sure your right foot stays grounded. Pressing into especially the outer edge of that foot. Coming up onto tented fingertips on the left hand side and find a baby twist with the upper body. Squeezing heel to bum. Inhale to come to center, planting both hands. Exhale, drive the knee forward, finding that compression. Step the foot between the hands, rise up for high lunge. So same thing here. Arms come out to a T, flexing the palms. On your next exhale, we twist to the left hand side. Twist is coming from the core. Legs hugging towards midline. As we inhale, we reach the right arm overhead, finding a diagonal twist. And on the next exhale, slowly open up to warrior two. Hugging the legs together, stacking shoulders over hips. Reverse your warrior. Now the right fingertips reach forward, trying to graze the left thigh. All 10 toes face the long edge of the mat as we sink into our goddess squat. Inhale, center. Exhale, switch. Really finding the twist. Inhale, pivot forward. Arms reach up, high lunge. Exhale, arms come to a T. Twist to the right hand, left hand side. Feeling the work in the oblique. Then reverse the twisted lunge. Finding that diagonal twist. Open up, warrior two. Reverse your warrior. Right fingertips. Reach forward, finding a greater twist, trying to touch that left thigh. All 10 toes face forward, sinking into your goddess squat. Center, inhale, exhale to switch. And we pivot to high lunge. Last time, arms come out to a T. Twist to the left hand side. Right arm reaches back and over. Left fingertips graze the right thigh. Now we pivot open, warrior two. Inhale, reverse your warrior. Right fingertips reach forward. All 10 toes reach a face the long edge of the mat and we sink the hips. Inhale to center, exhale to switch. Inhale to face forward, high lunge. Hands come to heart center in prayer and we twist, hooking the right elbow to the outside of the right knee. Inhale finds length, exhale finds a deeper twist. Engage in the core. Look down at the toes and slowly lean forward, dragging the back toes up to meet the left, sinking the hips. Inhale finds length. Exhale, twist, drawing the abdo abdominal wall towards the spine. If you want the arm balance, follow me, and if not, staying here is a great twist. Lean uh, to the left until you can plant both hands both hands, oh my God, onto the mat. Lean the body more left and lean the chest forward. Maybe you can lift the toes.
just as slowly lean back over to the right so you can plant the feet and then find your twisted chair. Inhale to come to stand. Exhale, lower the arms. Inhale, lift the arms up. Stay here as you exhale. Inhale to find the length. Reach the fingertips tips up more and notice that your shoulders are moving closer to your ears. Keep this. As you exhale, keep the length. Inhale. Tone the core, keep that as you exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Two more, inhale, reach up higher. Keep that length as you exhale. Last time. Exhale, lower the arms. Inhale, arms overhead. Exhale, forward fold. Maybe you re wrap the um, forearms behind the calves. Drawing the abdominal wall up and in. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant the hands and just come onto a seated position. I'll time check, I'm sure we're over. We're not over that bad. Um, coming onto your shins and then reaching the arms forward, sinking the hips back, finding your child's pose. Everybody inhales through the nose aggressively and exhale, sigh through the mouth. Inhale, breathe in. Exhale, sigh through the mouth. Last time, inhale. Exhale. And then begin to relax yourself down into your child's pose. Hips are sinking back towards the heels. Fingertips reaching forward, but not really making it active. Just a nice passive spinal decompression. Breathing into the parts of the spine that might feel a little bit tighter. Allow your heart rate to start to slow down. Feeling your spine lengthen. Maybe you can feel more space in between the vertebrae. And then slowly walking your way, walking your hands, I mean, back to a seated position. Crown of the head is tall. Hands gather to heart center. 
I hope you feel a little bit better, a little bit more detoxed. It was a little bit longer than I had anticipated, but thanks for joining me, and I hope you have a great rest of your day. Namaste.